This is Paula Shear. Her son, Lance Corporal Chris Thomas, gave his life to help retake the Falkland Islands after they'd been invaded by Argentina. For her and the hundreds who witnessed the consecration of the new memorial, this was a special day. Nothing ever prepares you for losing a child. You know, I think that, that is, everybody's prepared to lose their parents, but not a child. And you, you don't ever recover from it. Your lad's name is on this monument? Oh, yes. What does that mean to you? Oh, very proud. Very proud. It has been an honour for me and my staff to work with SAMA, the South Atlantic Medal Association. The new Welsh monument to remember those affected by the Falklands has been paid for by the South Atlantic Medal Association in Wales. It stands in the centre of Cardiff, but includes a five-ton piece of Mount Harriet, a gift from the people of the Falkland Islands. Totally overwhelmed in the response. Uh, and the people here, and to meet the Falklands families, widows, very tear-jerking, very moving moment for myself. The biggest single British loss of life in the Falklands War took place at Bluff Cove when the Sir Galahad was attacked. 48 people lost their lives, including 32 members of the Welsh Guards. For Simon Weston, injured that day, this memorial is very significant. This is going to be more than just a memorial, this is going to be all about getting people back together and, and people venting an awful lot of the anger, the frustration and the sadness they felt for 25 years because it's affected a lot of people in so many different ways. Physically people can see the injuries, internally people can't and I, I think this will promote an awful lot of healing. We pray that as we set aside this memorial stone, to those who lost their lives. It's important to have somewhere to come to remember, to honour those who have fallen and the wounded, of course, but particularly for the families as well and the widows. So, but for veterans, it's absolutely essential. And I think it's a great idea. It's been well done. I thought it was a really moving service to get so many veterans for the Falklands campaign here in Wales, particularly important for us being Welsh Guardsmen, and also to see such a, a wonderful and fitting memorial to those who lost their lives down the Falklands. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Dave Harper, Army News Online, Cardiff.